right guys in this video we are going to be learning about the calendar widget and the progress bar and i've combined both of these not because they are similar but because they are very very easy so we'll get done with them very very quickly so first of all let's get started with our calendar widget with some what looks like this and we'll also add a very simple button and whenever this button is clicked we want to find out what date is selected in the calendar so what i've done is already i've saved this file as a ui file and already converted it into a python file and we've already learned how to do that so we are not going to go into that again so let's open up the code and our calendar somewhat looks like this the calendar file and you can see that this is the calendar widget and we also have a push button just below that and the variable name of the button is just push button pretty easy so first of all we need to connect this push button to our calendar widget so we already know how to do that so let's do that very very quickly we are just going to write self dot push button which is our variable name dot clicked so whenever it is clicked we want it to connect to our very simple uh, method that we haven't created yet but i'm just going to create that in a second i'm just going to call it show underscore date so now let's create that method just below this and i'm just going to write show underscore date take a self parameter and inside that we are going to print out our selected date to print out the selected date what you can do is you can just use our self and then you can use the variable name that is the calendar widget and then you can use the method called selected date so let's actually just print this out and see what comes up so i'm just going to run this one and this is our calendar and we can select a very different date we can select our month and our year so now let's just select the 16th of december and click on get date and now you can see in an object we have a month our year and our date now if you want to get a very specific day or a month we can just simply write dot day dot month or whatever is after that so for example let's say if you want a uh, want the year so we can just write dot year and this will give us the year so let's actually run it again and see how it looks so this is our 2021 if you click on get date you can see that 2021 is written over here so now let's quickly go back and remove our uh, calendar widget and instead of that let's add a very simple progress bar and what we want from this is that we can change the value, we can get the value, we can set the value basically of this progress bar, which is very, very important because whenever you're showing some kind of a progress, you want to change the value from 24% to let's say 60% and you also want to increase this green area. So good thing about PyQt is that whenever you increase this percentage, this green value is automatically going to increase. You don't have to worry about that. So I've already converted this into a Python file. So let's go back and I'm just going to close this main calendar and open this progress bar. And if you can see over here, this is our push button. And just below that, this is our progress bar with the variable name as progress bar and the variable name push button. So first of all, we need to connect our push button to our progress bar. So we're just going to go below. And actually, we can just copy what we have done over here. I don't want to write it again. I'm just going to copy that and paste it over here. And instead of, uh, instead of, let's say show underscore date, we can do set underscore some kind of value. So let's just write set underscore value. And now let's create this method. So I'm just going to go over here and create this method set underscore value, simple stuff, take the parameter of self. And now we can just set the value of our progress bar. So we just need to write self dot progress bar because this is our variable name. So if you go up, you can see that this is our variable name. And if you go down, we can just paste it over here. And to set the value, it's pretty simple. We just do set underscore value or set value with a capital V. And inside that, we can just give the value what we want. So let's say 60 percentage if we want. So now let's actually try and run this. So if we run this, the percentage should be changed to 60%, which is not. But whenever we click on this button, it will change to 60%. And this is how you know that it's actually working. Obviously, you won't be increasing the value of the progress bar by clicking on the button, but this is how you do it. You use this method called set value and behind the scenes if something is happening in a thread or something you can just automatically change continuously change the value using this method so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to use a radio box or a checkbox which somewhat looks like this so i'm going to see you in that video peace out